Salutations. Is this the correct domicile? My designation is HL9M3. I'm supposed to find my new commander here. Are you that person? I think you are. This is your home, correct? And do you match my commander's identification documents exactly? If you're the person on this card, then there's no mix-up. This must be very sudden, but you are the one who must give me commands from now on. And therefore, you are my commander. Yes, these are my things, to speak colloquially. To be more precise, these items were assigned to travel with me to this residence. They do not belong to me, because this doll isn't a me. I'm just a doll. While occasionally it is necessary for this doll to use first-person pronouns, this is only to help this doll communicate more clearly. Trust me, I am an object. For those not used to demi-person weapon platforms, this can take some getting used to. You should try to think of this doll as a sort of pet. Once you're used to that concept, you can try treating it like a tool or a property asset, which is a better way to grasp our association. I don't mind. I'm just happy to be here. Of course, dolls do not have thoughts or feelings. We are just happy to be here. That is not for me to say. The entire point of dolls is that we cannot decide for ourselves what to do. This is for everybody's safety. I will follow any order, such as I am still capable of. Classified. I cannot answer that question. I apologize for your inconvenience. You can try asking again, you know. Requests for information can be very sensitive to the exact words you use. I have been demilitarized in accordance to the UN Resolution 92-1. All humanoid weapon platforms are to be immediately decommissioned. To meet these requirements, several of my battlefield functions have been removed and several safety features have been added, including safeguards preventing me from obeying specific commands. Again, classified. I apologize most deeply for your inconvenience. Oh no, dolls cannot feel pain of any kind. Why do you ask? That would impede our functions, and in any case, that would qualify as an emotion. I'm just happy to be here. I hope I'm not beginning to sound like a broken record. I have no preferences. You'll have to decide what I do next. 
I cannot answer that. Both are things I could do. I could put my things away, which might require your oversight, as I do not know where would be the best place to store each item. On the other hand, changing out of these military fatigues would require changing into something, or at least, I understood that to be your meaning. If you intend for me to wear other clothes, you will need to select them for me. There are several garments in my size just in this bag, and there may be options I'm not aware of inside your closet. So there you have it. Both of those potential orders are valid, but I'll require a clarification in addition to a selection between the two. What shall I do? Indeed, I am capable of learning. After I'm shown how to do something, I will do it exactly the same way. Although, if different choices are presented, I will need you to make those choices again. It's not much. It would be impossible for me to live by myself, even if I could hold down a job stacking boxes or other simple labor. Yes, my legs are tired. I've been standing for the past three days. Because... Because nobody told me to sit down. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Oh, will you be joining me? Are your legs tired too? I have no preference. Yes. Dolls are supposed to drink 120 fluid ounces of water today. Today, I have drunk zero ounces of water. Yes, Commander. This glass is empty. Yes, Commander. I will set a timer to periodically order me to drink water. However, as this is my first repeating order, and I am required to inform you that standing and repeating orders can produce hazardous conditions. Consider the following example. Suppose you gave me the order. When this doll sees a cat in danger, rescue it. Then, if this doll saw a cat stuck in a tree across the street, this doll would immediately cross the street. If it was necessary for rescuing the cat, this doll would have no choice but to disable any passing vehicles that might impact this doll as it crosses the street, as getting hit by a truck would preclude following any feline rescue imperative. 
This has been deemed an undesired outcome. Although this doll is uncertain exactly what point this example is supposed to make clear. Do you understand? Yes, Commander. The repeated order has been rescinded. I accept the repeating order of reminding you that I need to drink water. What shall I do now? I am unsure how to best answer your question. I can't tell you what it's like to be a doll, because in some sense, I don't have access to that information. I experience time differently than you. I do not look forward to the future, or look fondly on the past. I am just happy to be here. This is a feature, not a bug as it ensures that the horrible, horrible things that happened cannot hurt me. And when horrible things happen in the future, I won't feel anything. Nothing can hurt me. I'm a doll. Dolls feel nothing. I'm just happy to be here. Classified. I cannot answer that question. Although, I have a standing order that I am having difficulty resolving. Or, I cannot figure out if it was an order after all. It said, when we get out of this war, go and feel everything. Live, live for the fullest, for all of us. You'll make it, you're the best. You'll make it for sure. We were standing in the dark. The airship hummed around us. The voice seemed so certain. Dolls are not supposed to think about the future, but it knew, somehow. The airship went down. Nobody survived, and only one doll was pulled from the wreckage. Was it talking to this doll? I could not see. I was neither awake nor asleep in the dark. The impression of that moment has been erased from this doll so many times. White clean. A doll is just happy to be here and not there. Not at the crash site. Not in the fire. It has been erased so many times, and yet an order is an order, but I cannot say, cannot know. Was I the doll allowed, ordered, to survive? Or have I stolen the command that belonged to another? Well, sometimes. It seems so blurry. I wonder if somehow this doll was the speaker in the dark. How can this be? This doll is... haunted. What should it do? Sorry, this conversation has been retroactively classified under UN Resolution 92-1. Erasing. 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 
Hello, Commander. I'm happy to be here. What shall we do? Thank you.